Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth SAS tutorial and in this video we're going to look at how we can import external SAS files into our main SAS file. Wow. Alright then guys, so everything's going swimmingly so far except now we have our variables on this SAS file, we have our mixins here on the SAS file, then we have our main CSS files and it's all getting a little bit too long for my liking. I like to kind of modularize my uh, SAS files so that each different thing has its own file essentially. So what I'd like to do is have a file for my variables, keep them all in one place. Have a file for my mixins, keep them in all, uh, one place. Uh, a file for my main styles, etc. So what we're going to do is take a look at importing external files into our SAS file. And uh, it's really cool SAS when it comes to this because it doesn't take much work whatsoever. First thing I'm going to do is go down here and create a couple of new files in my SCSS folder. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to new file and we're going to create a file for our variables first of all. I'm going to say variables.scss. All right, cool. Then we'll do another file and we're going to call this mixins.scss and then I'm going to create one more right here and I'm going to call this reset.scss and this is going to be for our uh, CSS reset if you like. All right, cool. So now we've got those external files right there. The first thing I want to do is bring up this uh, processor right here. And what we don't want to do is for when this file is compiled, I don't want it to auto compile these as well into different CSS file, uh, files. So we don't want it to create a mixins.css file or a reset.css file or a variables.css file. So we need to kind of um, untick these things right here, this auto compile box on these files so it doesn't do that. And the only one that we want to compile is this styles.css, so we're gonna leave that one ticked. All right, cool. So now we've created our files, let's go ahead and start transferring some stuff across. So I'm gonna grab the variables, cut that out and paste it into the variables right there and save that and get rid of that. Then I'm gonna to come to the mixins and I'm gonna grab all of this stuff right here, cut it out and I'm going to paste that in the mixins.scss, like so. Save that, and we'll get rid of that. And then this reset is currently residing in this CSS file. Now I'm going to pop it into this SCSS file, this SAS file, because I want to keep all my styles within the SAS, and then also we can have one less uh, request right here. We can just request the styles then, instead of requesting this as well. So let's get rid of that and then save that, then come to the reset.css, grab all of that and cut it out, save it and cross it off. Then come to reset over here and paste that stuff in. All right, cool. So now what we wanna do is just import all of these files into this main SAS file. And we'll do that at the top, right? So this is in order. Whatever we import first, the styles to those are gonna be at the top. So whatever we need first, is what I generally import first. Now I'm gonna just import the reset first. So I'll say at import, this is how we import an external SAS file. And then I'm gonna put it in quotes like so, and I'm just gonna say reset, like that. Put a semicolon at the end. And that's gonna look for another SAS file called reset, which is gonna find right there. Now it's in the same directory, so we don't need to do any kind of path like this or anything like that. It's in the same directory as this SAS file, so we just need to type the name of the file itself. We don't need to put .scss, it's just gonna automatically look for that. If you were importing a CSS file, you could put .css, uh, but for this we don't need to. Okay then, so the second one I want to import is going to be the variables, because we're gonna use those in the mixins and also in these styles right here. So we'll say import again, and then this one is called variables. And then finally, we want to import, at import, the mixins. All right, so now it's gonna go out, it's gonna grab all of these dudes right here, all of these files, and it's gonna dump them at the top of this SAS file right here. Okay, so let's save that. Now we should see this look exactly the same as it was before. 
but this time we've kind of modularized our SAS file so it's much easier to work with now so if I want to create a mix in I'll just come over here if I want to create a variable I'll just add it here if I want to add to the reset I'll just do it here and then for the rest of the styles I can just pop them in here it kind of keeps things nice and clean and uh, it's just easier to update this way especially as your files get bigger and bigger but when we compile it it's just going to compile exactly the same to the styles.css so we still have all of those in one file Okay, so that's one of the really cool things about SAS. We can have multiple SAS files that we just import into one file, and then all that is gonna compile into one CSS file right here. Pretty cool, yeah? So there we go, guys. If you've got any questions on this, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.